Hello Scorpio, thank you for joining me. I just wanted to give you a sneaky peek at what October has in store for you. I'm using three decks today. That's going to show me your overall energy. I'm going to, uh, oh, we've had a jumper. I'm going to keep that out. Um, yeah, I've already shuffled the cards off deck properly. I just wanted you to see that I am actually shuffling these cards and I'm not just selecting cards I want to read because that would just be crazy. Um, I want you to have, oh, nice. I've just had a sneaky peek at the bottom of the deck. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Okay, so yes, I want you to uh, see that I've shuffled well and that these are meaningful messages for you. So let's have a look at your overall energy. It says, what's your thoughts? It's important to only think about what you desire and not what you fear. Ah. Well, I've got to say, with the star at the bottom of the deck, these are blessings. This, this is a gorgeous card. So you've got nothing to fear in October. Come on, Scorpio. I've got a sneaky peek there as well. Look at that. <laughs> that's new beginnings. That's you transforming. So no more negative thinking, please. Not when you've got this gorgeous link to source who are bringing you blessing, blessings. And if you need healing, yeah, ask for healing. That's the card of healing. It's the card of hope. But it's a beautiful energy because it lights up the rest of my deck. And I also know that you are on the brink of something new. You're transforming yourself. So come on, no fear. Let's see what these have got to say. Right. Oh, gosh. Scorpio, what's happening? So the Page of Swords then. The Page of Swords is like the beginnings with messages. Maybe you're thinking about sending somebody a message. Maybe you're thinking about doing some research. It's all about communication and information. And um, maybe you've been um, watching somebody on social media. Or maybe somebody's been watching you on social media. But I think it is about you watching somebody else. Because you're very much in your head here. This is a, quite a negative card. She's um, full of anxiety and stress. But for no good reason, you're creating that yourself. I am going to slow down and tell you the whole energy in a minute. But this is creating um, confusion. What are you doing, Scorpio? What's this card? Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> A lifeline. Okay. I don't know. I don't think I really need to clarify anything, but just in case I do, I'll shuffle these. So let's just have a look. Out of your head, please, Scorpio. You've got nothing at all to fear, I promise. Even if you're going through the roughest, roughest of times, easy for me to say, even if you're in a really, really tough time, I want you to link with your higher self. Meditate. Remember who you are. Link with source. Tell source. Tell the angels exactly what it is you're needing right now. If it's healing, then get some healing. If you need hope for the future, ask for evidence that you can be hopeful this to me is lots of evidence this is a brand new successful beginning the universe is presenting you with this opportunity that is going to be really fruitful now you might not be able to see it clearly but i want you to carry on i'm going to clarify that one i think i want you to carry on looking at how you can make take these baby steps i want you to really consider how you can move from this state of mind, this worry, this anxiety, sleepless nights, you might even be thinking, I should have done this and I wish I'd done that. We've got to move out of that frame of mind because that is creating all, creating all sorts of crazy thoughts. You're just so confused. You know, you just don't know what's going on. Thankfully, the star lights up the moon. Yeah, and so this can all just dissolve. I love it because you're in control here. You just need to believe it. You need to believe in the success that is about to come. So I'm going to ask for advice and guidance. What is this page of swords all about, please? How can we help Scorpio here? You need to get out of this lack mentality. 
So the five of pentacles is one where you're feeling abandoned, left out, left out in the cold. Uh, perhaps you're feeling like you've um, not got enough on the bottom of the deck. You've got the page of cups. So the page, is, the page energy will really help you here. Yeah, we need to do some research. We need to perhaps even send people messages. We need to get some help if necessary. Talk to people. Yeah, there's no need for you to feel this way. Not when this is here. Yeah. Take baby steps. Perhaps even send little compliments, little messages. You know, perhaps you're going to receive compliments and messages. This is the page of cups. Whereas this is all about uh, messaging and communications. This is about loving gestures. This is about emotion. And so when... These can be messages. These can be children as well, but I don't think they are in this deck, unless your children really are doing your head in. <laughs> it could be that. Sorry, I don't mean to sound flippant. Um, but even if they are doing your head in, there's a new beginning coming, so don't be worrying. Um, yeah, I want you to take baby steps out of this frame of mind. Definitely, definitely leave this behind. Can't have sleepless nights. These are of the past. Yeah, these were September. Let's get clarity of mind. Watch your thoughts. Ask for help from the other side. Get some healing and blessings and move forward. Yeah, even if it is baby steps, move forward. Sorry, I've hidden the other two cards. That's September. <laughs> we're not having them. Okay, so let's get clarity of mind. Let's move forward because underneath here, the next card under the deck is a new beginning. Yeah, the full. Take that leap of faith. You've got so, to get the star, to get these blessings, you've earned it. Somehow you've earned it. You've earned the right to this new beginning. The universe is giving you this new opportunity. Grab it with both hands, Scorpio, and skip through October, please. <laughs> I hope that helped you. I'll see you next time.